What happens when you cross a vent with a door? You, you get a door, uh, um, a door vent, uh, door, what? A vent in a, what's this episode supposed to be? An Aventador! A, a Lamborghini Aventador, yeah! Alright. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman back with another episode of Dream Car Racing 3D. So on the last Dream Car Racing episode, I started off showing you all this frame which I was in the process of building. And I asked you to take a guess as to what you thought the final product of this build was going to be, and I gave you one hint. I told you that the suspension I was using was called pushrod suspension, and I let you guys just go off on that, but I'm sorry that this hint was kind of a trick, and it totally worked. So many of you guessed exactly what I expected you to guess, which was an F1 car. And some of you were so confident in your guesses, but I'm sorry to say that you fell directly into my trap. <laughs> um, sorry. I wasn't going to give you a hint that was that easy. I mean, come on, an F1 car is the first result you get for Googling pushrod suspension. So, yes, the F1 car is known for having the pushrod suspension, but the car I was building was not an F1 car. Its suspension was inspired by the F1 car, though, so that's why I thought that would be a tricky little hint to give you guys. And of all of the 300 plus comments guessing what the car was, I found three that actually managed to get not only the make of the car that I was building, but also the model. So congrats to these three people, they saw through the misleading hint and somehow zeroed in on the right answer. So now, I present to you my latest creation, the Lamborghini Aventador. So this is it, and this took quite a long time, especially this back section here, which it doesn't look as great as I hoped it would, but it's still it's still not not too bad considering that it's very hard to create very flat panels like this that support themselves, especially like with all this stuff down here. Um, but it it's okay. It drives decently well. It's really fast, as you can as you can see. But um, I had a lot of trouble actually getting the suspension to not be incredibly bouncy. Because uh, I didn't want the wheels to have too much give. You can see they actually poke through a little bit sometimes. Uh, so e they, they don't have a lot of give, but the result is that they bounce a lot, especially on those turns like that. But it's got headlights. It's even got tail lights and uh, reverse lights in there. It's got the, uh, the vents on the sides and the front. It's got all these little details in here that were just took way too long to try to get right. I didn't get as much detail as I was hoping. Like, I was hoping to have the roof had the little contours in it, but it turned out to be just too much work than- too much more work than it was worth. Um, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. So what we're gonna do in this episode is, uh, I mean, I'm driving it around right now so you can see how it handles. It's got an emergency brake as well. Um, even the mirrors. Uh, themselves were a little bit difficult to try to shape right. They're not exactly the way that the mirrors are supposed to be shaped, but this was the the, the simplest design I could do um, without it being just way too many frames. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this thing through a few crash tests. At the end of this episode, we're gonna do something that I don't know why I haven't been doing, and it should just be a regular part of these episodes. We're gonna take the frame of this car, and we're just gonna start selecting a bunch of parts and just stretching them in different directions and see how the car runs, if it's super long or super tall, and things like that. We're just gonna go crazy with deforming the entire structure of the car and uh, playing with it like that. All right, so first up, let's, uh, let's do some off-roading with it so over here. And then we'll get on to some head-on collisions and see how the car crumples. Uh, I'm not expecting much out of this for off-roading. I mean, it has a relatively low... It could be lower. I think that it could be a lower suspension there. But... It's actually... It's head up. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Now the wheels have uh, turned into jelly, it appears. I almost forgot, before we get to the uh, crash testing, some of you might want to see what the, f what the build actually looks like in the editor. So, it has... 596, almost 600 uh, frames in it, which is probably one of the higher ones that I've done. I don't remember if the Batmobile, I think the Batmobile was actually more than that. 
But yeah, go ahead and check out the Batmobile if you haven't seen that already. I'll put a link up here in the top right that'll pop up and also in the description. Uh, it's got 347 panels. Uh, actually, those are, they've actually updated the game, so now they've separated the panels into the different sections. So you have solid panels, you have glass panels, and you also have grid panels. So the grid panels are those vents and stuff that you see on the sides and in the front here. This is what it looks like without any of the panels. So that inside section, all the black stuff, is the original frame that you guys saw, and I did move the engine in a little bit. But probably one of the harder sections for me to build was this back section doesn't look quite as good as I was hoping it was gonna look because these these panels here are technically supposed to be flat and just stacking downwards but I didn't have enough degrees of motion to set them at like these mid sections here I couldn't get any any more fine movement like that's pretty much as much as I could do if I moved up then it would have merged with the other frame if I moved down then it would have merged with the other frame I couldn't really get the spacing to be as small as I wanted it to so I had to angle them downwards which I think still looks okay um, other than that, the other difficult part was creating this whole indent here was also somewhat tiresome and then making all this contour back out to the wheel well over here. Yeah, there was just a lot of contour stuff that was really difficult to do with the details, but I'm overall, I'm pretty satisfied with how it came out. I also had to hide the driver, as you can see, because the driver sticks out because the roof of this thing is so... Uh, so short. The entire frame of this car is a very short car, but I'm pretty happy with it. Alright, let's crash test this thing. Alright, so first up we're just gonna do a head-on collision in slow motion and see how that looks. I'm pretty surprised with the speed of it considering it only does have one engine. It seems to go pretty fast. I guess it's not really that heavy of a car. I made the frame pretty light for the most part. Alright, here we go. Slowing things down. Alright, I have no idea how well this is gonna crumple. I haven't actually done this yet. All oh, right, so that's a decent... That is a decent amount of crumple. I thought the frame would have been stronger than that. I guess I didn't make the frame that strong, which is good. Makes for some good crumple effects. It looks like a very... sad... This definitely has a face... It definitely has some type of face here. And I can't tell if it's angry or sad. But the question is, will it drive? Nope. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the driver's side here if I can. Let's see what first person looks like. I haven't actually checked out. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. My head is above the, <laughs> my head's above the the roof there because of how small this car is. All right, here we go. Oh, 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 that was not what I was meaning to do. My driving was terrible there. And hopefully I can get it right on the edge here. There we go. Alright, so it seems like the body of it, the cabin of it, actually holds up pretty well. Just the front crumples, and then the driver, I think, would be relatively safe. If we look in here, this is, yeah, so this is a driver's seat, this triangle right here. So I think he would have pretty much survived it. Alright, now there's only one more crash test left to do, I think, and that uh, is landing on the roof or something from up here. And then let's try to stretch this thing and maybe take it off of the mountain. All right, we're gonna try to land this thing on the roof. I don't know how good my aim is gonna be, but we're gonna... I was facing the wrong way. I was, I thought I was facing this way, and that is not the direction I was facing. Let's try this again. We're gonna try to land this thing on the roof, just like I said. Here we go. I don't know if I should do slow motion or not. All right, let's do slow motion. Five times slow motion. Oh, and we, oh, that was great. We landed on the, on the, uh, the ledge there. That is a wonderful deformation. Look at that. It's like a hot dog now. Proud of you. All right, so I figured before we stretch it out, let's take this thing off the mountain and see how it handles a normal body here. And then uh, after this, we're gonna, we're gonna take it off of the highest points down to the lowest point and see if it survives the pancake test. Now, in case you didn't know, the pancake test is um, pretty much having it land flat into the ground at a very high speed and seeing if it completely pancakes, which I'm thinking it's going to because this is already starting to pancake it. And yeah, it's not, it's not doing too well. You know what? I don't think we need to do the pancake test. I think our answer, I think our question has been answered on will it pancake. So let's go ahead and get to the, the new portion, which is the, uh, the distortion portion, I guess I'll call it. 
Okay, so first up on the distortion portion, what I'm gonna do is highlight this half of it. And I'm just gonna drag it out. Whoop, try to keep it level here. Sorry, come on, there we go. All right, now we have a stretch. Oh, cannot connect. No, I'm just gonna ignore that. Look at all those red frames. Look at all that red there. That's gonna be brilliant. All right, let's see how this thing does. Oh boy, this is actually, this actually looks like a lim, limogini. A stretched limo Lamborghini. All right, I don't know how I'm supposed to, I, I don't know how I'm supposed to turn around on this. Come on, come on, you can do it. Get out. I'm just trying to turn it. No, come on, I just want to get straight on this so I can take it. Just let me, will you please? Come on, I, all right, right there. All right, come on, you can do it. Back up, go forward, back up, go forward, back up. Go forward. Oh no, we're stuck again. Are we stuck again? We can do it. We're gonna get our wheel on. There we go. So check this thing out. It is a limo, a stretch Lamborghini. I did not expect this to actually be able to run. But I'm actually surprisingly surprised. Wait, what am I saying? I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. That's what I meant to say. I'm pleasantly surprised with how well this thing is running. Now the curious thing is, how is it gonna do when we take it off of this cliff here? Wow. This thing is so awkward looking. At the same time, I think it's kind of cool looking. I'm actually, I'm actually really happy with how it looks. I wonder if it's gonna bend it all in the middle. There we go. Oh, oh it's just contorting and twisting. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, but I have to see what a head-on collision looks like. I really want to know if the middle of this thing crumples or bends at all. Because this thing is just, there's, there's no, there's nothing supporting it really underneath. It's just really long frames, but I guess it does have a decent amount of support through there. All right, here goes nothing. And look at that, it survives. All right, so we've, we've stretched it the lo lengthwise, now let's do it height-wise and see how that goes. All right, so I'm trying to figure out where is the best spot, I guess like right here, maybe? Oh, I should be doing it on this frame here. All right, we're gonna go with right here and see if this will stretch it. Oh my goodness. This is going to be absolutely insane. <laughs> what is it? What even is this? It still works. This is the most this is the most ridiculous Lamborghini I've ever seen and it actually appears to work. We could even do a wheelie with it. This is so crazy. <laughs> oh, I love this thing. All right, I just want to drive this thing around a little bit and see how well it handles. Look at the engine in there, like this. Uh, 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 oh no! Stay up, stay up, please. You can do it. Get back up. I don't, I don't know what else I expected. I really don't know what else I expected. It's just such a weird thing because the Lamborghini's known for being like just so narrow as far as the height goes, and it is up here, and then it just straight down to the ground. Just this huge wall of. I don't know what. Look at all the wobbling. Oh my god, it's so hard to keep this thing from turning over. Alright, I'm gonna drive straight into the invisible wall and see how this thing handles a crash now. This is so weird. I'm really curious, how is it gonna handle a, a, a fall onto its roof? We're gonna try that next, see if all this stuff collapses, which I don't know, I mean, it's got some decent support there. Alright, here we go! Alright, not much different than the other crash. All right, we've stretched it lengthwise. We've stretched it height-wise. I think the only thing left is to do width. All right, so I'm just gonna take it right about here, and we're just gonna go ahead and pull this out. Yeah. Yes. All right, we'll see how this thing does. Whoa. This does not look how I thought it was gonna look. <laughs> Oh, this is my new favorite segment. Oh, no. Why won't it? 
the, it, the, it's too heavy now. Oh, the suspension has been stretched. Because, oh, the suspension's been stretched, so now the suspension doesn't work as well. Okay. I wonder if there's a way that, like, I can't turn or anything because the front wheels aren't even in contact with the ground. I wonder if there's a way if we can stretch it with the suspension still being intact. Okay, so our suspension is almost at the midpoint, so I think we just gotta make sure we grab it right down the middle. Alright, so there's our suspension. So if we do, like, right here... Does that work? Yes, I think this will work. I think this, this will make the suspension stretch with it. I don't know. Alright, let's see, how is our suspension doing? Where- where is... Oh no, the suspension is still- wait. Oh, there we go! Alright, this might work. I've just moved the suspension down the line. Alright, race! Is it working? It's not working. It's not working. Nope, turning is just not- This is not gonna work. I think the only- the only way to test this thing out is to just throw it off the mountain. And by throw it off the mound, I mean spawn it right on the edge and watch it fall. <laughs> our steering and our suspension is just... It doesn't even make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Alright, we just we just gotta let it slide now and see what happens. Please don't get stuck. Please don't get... Please don't get stuck. You got stuck. Alright, looks like we gotta spawn somewhere else. We're gonna spawn right here. There we go. Here we go. Please don't get stuck. Please. Please don't get stuck. Oh, it's gonna get stuck down here, isn't it? Please don't get stuck. Go fast enough to use this as a ramp. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, it's something, it's something. All right, let's see. Is things gonna deform much more? It's kind of like a giant, like, puck. It's like a hockey puck just sliding down the mountain. Don't get stuck, don't get stuck, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck, yeah! That's what I'm talking about. This is a Lamborghini. It's not, it's really not. It's not a Lamborghini. I don't know- I don't know what this monstrosity is that I've created, but... This is probably the most of a pancake of anything I've ever made has become. Well then, I think that this is probably my new favorite, uh, way to use this game. Build a car, and then stretch it into all these different ways to make it look weird and act weird. So let me know what you guys thought. Uh, if you if you liked this new segment, what do they call it? Uh, di the distort the distortion portion. Yeah, that was it. The distortion portion. If you like the distortion portion, leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments what else you want to see me build. This has been the Lamborghini Aventador, and good on you guys, the few of you who actually guessed the Lamborghini Aventador. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time.